Amen, 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 amen. Who can declare that God is your everything at 11 p.m. at night? In the morning time, in the noon day, late in the evening, at midnight, he's our everything. Give God a big hand of praise. If you are listening on live stream, you can give him some praise right where you are. Lord is our everything. Thank God for those who are here within the sanctuary and also those who are watching on live stream. This is our end of year watch service slash prayer service. We're going to move on with the program. We thank God for the Voices of Hope for that selection. We're going to have various people who are going to come and do topical prayers. Thank God for them being here. Um, their prayers will be about four minutes, four minutes. That roster will be prayer for na the nation and the world. Deacon Dwight Greenwell, prayer for the sick and those in bereavement. Deacon Win Deaconess Winnie Shambliss, prayer for the lost that they might be saved. Deacon Willie Brown, and then the Voices of Hope will come for with a selection, and then there'll be prayer for the youth and young adults. Sister Latrice Bugs, prayer for the pandemic relief. Reverend uh, Warren Trope, prayer for the body of Christ and the work of the ministry. Reverend Jesse Boone, prayer for the pastors and ministers uh, and ministers' wives. Reverend Jimmy Welch, the voices will come with a selection, then I will come with a short message, and then I will have a closing praise. Let's give God a hand of praise. Deacon Greenwell will start us off. First, giving honor to God, respect to Pastor Carter. Let us pray. Father God, Heavenly Father, Mighty Creator, Abba, Father, we come this evening, Heavenly Father, just to say thank you. Thank you for 2020, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the blessings you did, you bestowed upon us during this time, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that sealed us into the day of redemption. We thank you for your holy word that's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for a reasonable portion of our health and strength. And we thank you for another opportunity to come into your house of prayer and worship to praise your holy name, Father God. But Heavenly Father, we thank you most especially for your darling son, Jesus the Christ who is the author and finisher of our faith, our Savior. Heavenly Father, we pray this evening, Heavenly Father, that you bless this world, Father God. Continue to touch us as only you can. Continue to lead, guide, and direct us, Father God. We pray, Father God, for our leaders in government, Father God. We pray for our president, our outgoing president, Father God. Bless him, his family, and his administration. And then, Father, we pray that you welcome Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, and President and Vice President Kamala Harris, Father God. We pray and ask that you would touch them in a special way, Father God. Bless them, O oh Father God, as only you can. Give them wisdom and knowledge, compassion, Heavenly Father. Touch them, O oh Lord. Order their steps, Heavenly Father. It says in your word that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Well, Father God, we just pray and ask that you order Joe Biden's steps, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. And then, Father, we uh, also pray for our local governments, our mayor of this great city of Seaside, Father God. Bless him, O oh Lord. Bless our, our, uh, our council, Heavenly Father. Just touch in a, in a mighty special way. Father God, we know that you are in control, Father God. And where 2020 seemed like it was lost and uh, confusing, Father God, we know that you are in control, Father God. And you know that if, if you can hear the sound of my voice, that he has got you through, oh, Father God, that he's got us through 2020, Father God. And we look forward to 2021 because we know that you said in your word, you'll never leave us nor forsake us. So we love you, Father. We praise you. We thank you for food, shelter, and clothing, Father God. And then, Father, we ask that you forgive us of the things we've said, done, and thought that are not well-pleasing in your sight, Father God. 
uh, cast our sins as far as the east is from the west, Father, and see them no more. Father God, we love you because you first loved us. We bless your holy name. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I've been charged to pray for those who are sick and bereaved. And the Spirit gave me this scripture coming from James, the fifth chapter, verses 14 through 16. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we come to say thank you for another opportunity. We say thank you, oh God, for another year. We say thank you, oh God, for another night, another watch night. There are many who started out at the beginning of this year with us who are not able, who are not here, who are not present to even celebrate tonight with you, with us. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, your loving kindness, your forgiveness. We thank you for your goodness, oh God. We thank you for who you are as well as what you've done. We praise you for who you are. And we thank you for what you've done in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Even the sick, Heavenly Father, that we're praying for right now, you bless them to hold on a little while longer until you come. Because we can't do anything until you come. We can make plans. We can hope to be healed. But until you heal us, there is no healing. Father, we thank you that we thank you even for illness because sometimes in our afflictions, we draw closer to you. In your words, you said, it was good that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. Lord, bless us, Heavenly Father, to even in sickness and bereavement, to look and see you in the midst of it. Father, we ask that you would just open up our eyes that we might see you in every condition that we find ourselves. Lord, some of us are not sick right now, but if we keep living, we will get sick. And we're gonna have to call on you to heal us, to comfort us. But oh God, we're praying that you would bless us to be a comfort to others the way you have comforted us. Father, we thank you right now. Bless those who uh, are in bereavement, Heavenly Father. I was not attending a service yesterday, but I was there while a service was going on. Lord, the grief is heavy. Father, we pray that you would bless those who are grieving loved ones who are lost to them in this physical life. Father, there are many in this household of faith who are sick and grieving, oh God. You know who they are. You know where they are. We pray, oh God, that you would bless us to go see about them. Bless us, Heavenly Father, that we would pick up the telephone and call. Bless us that we would send a note of encouragement. Bless us that we would continue to pray after everybody else has gone home, after the cards and telephone calls have stopped, that according to your spirit that we would contact folk, oh God, and let them know that you're still living and you're living through us. Father, we thank you right now. Bless us and keep us. I wish I could remember everybody's name so I could call the names of those who are sick and those who are suffering. But oh God, you know. You know those who are of this household. You know your children all over the world. You are our creator. You are our maker. You are our consoler, our comfort. You are our God, our keeper. You are everything we need. You promised that you would supply all of our need according to your riches and glory. Now we're dependent on you. We're trusting in you. Heavenly Father, to do just that. And we know that you're no shorter than your word. Now bless us and keep us 
as we go forward and uh, experience it, experience the challenges and the joys of 2021. We haven't made it yet, but if you allow us to see it, Lord, we'll be found trusting in your word. Father, we thank you right now. We give you the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and thank God. Dearly, Father, I come before you once again, Father. Most of all, Father, say thank you for Jesus, Lord Father. Father, we can't do anything without him, Lord Father. We should always honor you and the Father and the Son, Lord Father, and the Holy Spirit. Father, I just thank thee, Lord Father, for Jesus being in my life, Lord Father, being my Savior, saving me from myself and from this dying world. Then, Father, I just thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that indwells in, within me, Lord Father. I ask thee, Father, at this day, Lord Father, to look yonder, Father, upon the sick and the shut in, Lord Father. Then, Father, I just ask thee, Lord Father, to help us, Lord Father, to do the will that you've given us, Lord, the charge that you've given us, Father, to take your word out into a dying world, Lord Father, and share it, Father, that someone would hear one word for, Lord Father, and give their life to you. I thank thee, Lord Father, for this opportunity, Lord Father, that you've given us under Pastor Carter, Lord Father, that we would learn, learn your word, Lord Father, that it was it would just indwell, be indwelled in us, Lord Father, that we would take the word out, Lord Father, in honor and truth, Lord Father, and be cheerful about it, Lord Father, when we share it, Lord Father, that someone would be wondering why we are so cheerful about you, Lord Father, and we can just share your word, Lord Father, and they will come, come, come to you, Father, giving their life to you, Lord Father. Father, there's so many in this world, Lord Father, that, that go day by day, Lord Father, not even thinking about how they get from one point of the day to the next, Father. But it's only because of you, Father, that we're breathing our breath, Lord Father, and taking that next next step, Lord Father. And I just ask thee, Lord Father, just help us to share and bring, increase, Lord Father, one by one, Father, that we know that you don't want any of your children to be lost, Lord Father, in this dying world, Father. You want all of us to, at one day to go to heaven and be with you, Father. And I just know that if we do your will, Lord Father, we can increase your flock, Lord Father. Lord Father, give us the strength and the knowledge, Lord Father, that we would do this, Lord Father. Let us uphold that charge, Lord Father, to, to be missionaries in your name, Father. Father, this, Lord Father, I did, Father, I just pray that those out there in this world, Lord Father, that would accept you as their Savior, Father. Father, I just can't thank you enough, Lord Father. There's so much going on in this world, Father. That I, I, I know. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord Father, just for lifting me up, Lord Father. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord Father, just for answering my prayer, Lord Father. Father, when I was down, Father, you lifted me up, Lord Father. I came to you, Father, because I remember what you said. Just look to you when I need you, Lord Father. And I know you were there for me, Lord Father. And I just ask you, Lord, to continue to wrap your arms around my family, Lord Father, and my, my new whole family as well, Lord Father. We need you, Father. We can't do nothing unless we have you in our life, Father. Father, just bless us, Lord Father, so we will bring your children home to you, Lord Father. These blessings I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
youth and the young adults this evening. But when I sit here and I think of the goodness of Jesus, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank you for saving me, for blessing me, protecting me, looking over me. You know what I've been going through. You know what I've been dealing with through this year, through this pandemic. It has not been easy. This pandemic has been a lot on me. But Lord, I just want to thank you for having me here right now today, tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you once again for the opportunity just to be able to come into your house and give you praise and give you glory. Dear Heavenly Father, right now I have a situation that's weighing kind of heavily on my heart, Lord. I ask that you just touch those two people that's in that party, Lord. You know who they are. Lord, I hope that they don't let pettiness get in the way of 2001 and their friendship, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I hope that they can put that stuff behind them and move forward in Christ with you. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you continue to strengthen our youth and our young adults, Lord. I know these times are hard for young adults that are out there in the world that want to be out having fun and partying and doing everything that they want to do. But at the same time, they have to realize that they can get that pandemic just as well as anybody else. Or they could be a carrier and pass it on to their loved ones, and their loved ones end up dying or passing away. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you give them strength and courage to try to stay within the guidelines, Lord. I know it's not easy and it's not, it's not something that they're willing to do, but Lord, just place it on their hearts, Lord, to let them know that it's not just about you. It's about your, the other ones in the, in the world. It's about your loved ones, your moms, your grandmothers, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, cousins, and nephews. Lord, just think about others and, and pit, pit yourself be, behind and pit others first. Dear Heavenly Father, ask that you continue to touch this church as a whole, individually and collectively, that we be about your business. Dear Heavenly Father, ask that you continue to strengthen this church, Lord. I know that everyone um, doesn't always be on one accord, but Lord, if we all just put everything aside and turn to you and look towards you, I know you'll put everything back on track and make things the way you want it to be, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, ask that you continue to strengthen me in my walk, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father, after you continue to touch this choir as they lift their voices of songs and praise unto you, Lord. Also touch the men's course that's been coming out also. Dear Heavenly Father, ask that you just continue to bless and Pastor Carter and Sister Carter as they stand on your word and preach and teach that we may hear and, and receive what you have for us. Dear Heavenly Father, ask that you just continue to bless and touch um, everyone in this world. In your son's name we pray, amen. Master, Father God, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we come before you again, Father God. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done thus far on this night, Father God. Lord, I've been given the task of praying for pandemic relief, Father God. Lord, if there ever was a time, Lord God, that we should depend on you, Jesus, Lord, it is now, God. Father, get our minds wrapped around the fact, Father God, that life is not the same anymore. Father God, we ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will strengthen those, God, who have not been able to deal with this situation as well as you would like them to, God. Lord, it's been hard for many. Father God, I can't even think of a one who has not been going through, Father God, at some point in some time, Father God. But Lord, we are crying out to you this evening, God, for relief, God. We're asking you, Father God, to move, Father God. We're asking you, Lord God, to blow a breath upon this earth, Father God, to remove, to take down, Father God, everything that is going on with this pandemic, Father God. Father God, we know, Lord God, that we can trust and we can believe on your name. Father God, we trust you, Lord God. Lord God, how else, Lord God, will we be able to keep on standing, Father God? I thank you, Lord God, because it's not because some rabbit foot, Father God. It is because, God, we have faith, God. Lord, you said in your word, God, that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, God. Lord, we're trusting in that fact, God, that we can believe, Lord God, that we can hold fast to the hope, Lord God, that you will make it be okay, Father God. 
Lord, we're going to be all right, Lord God. Lord, we may not see, Lord God, what's going to happen yet, Lord God. But, Father God, weeping may endure for a night, God. But joy shall come in the morning. Father God, we are going to be more than conquerors. We are, Father God, going to be victorious, Father God, at this point in time, Father God. Lord, strengthen, God, those who are weak, Father God. Touch them from the top of the head to the soles of their feet, Father God. Lord God, strengthen every child of God, everybody on this earth, Father God, that is struggling, that are having a hard time, Father God, who are thinking and contemplating, Father God, giving up and giving up their life. But I pray, Father God, right now in Jesus' name, that you, Lord God, would touch right now, Father God. Lord, I thank you because you reign on the just as well as the unjust, God. Have your way, oh God. And Father, we're going to thank you, praise you, glorify you father god for all that you're gonna do thank you for our leader father god the man of god father god that is headed this church father god and all that he do father god lord i thank you for how you're leading and guiding him father continue to help him father god i thank you for his helpmate i thank you for the men of god and the women of god in this church i thank you for each and every preacher oh god that is in this church lord lord i just want to lift you up today because i know lord you've been good to each and every one of us tonight lord all throughout 2020 father god Lord God, you have kept us. Even when sometimes we didn't feel like we were being kept, God, you had us in your hand, God. And I thank you, Lord, for all that you do. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Deaconess Sandra Bruin is going to come and pray over our seniors. She's not on the program, but she is on the program. So we thank God for her. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come tonight, Lord, thanking you once more and again, Lord Jesus. Lord, I've been tasked with praying for our seniors. Father, you know they're down sitting, you know they're uprising, you know their thoughts are far off. You know all about them, Lord. And we just ask, Father God, that you would go yonder and that you would touch as only you can touch them, that you would bless them, as only you can bless, that you would heal, as only you can heal. Lord, that you would touch their bodies, that you would heal them. Father God, that you would touch their minds and let them know, Father God, that they are not forgotten about. Sometimes they feel like they've forgotten about them, but Lord, remind them in their mind that they have not been forgotten about, Lord, that you love them. That if no one else is there for them, Father God, you are. Touch them, Lord, with your finger of love. Give them comfort in time of comfort, Lord, when they need comforting, Lord. Give them that comfort, Lord, that only you can give. Lord, that they know that they've been touched, that they know that your presence is real, your presence is there. Touch them, Lord, as only, Lord, as only you can. Lord, we ask and pray that you would go into the uh, senior care, Father God. We hear that uh, COVID is running rampant, Father God, in these senior facilities. Lord, we just ask and pray, Lord, that you would send your healing, Father God, if it be your will, Father God. But in the meantime, Lord, we just ask and pray that you would touch them, that you would touch the people that care for them, Lord. Strengthen them, Father God. You know all about their concerns. You know all about their care, Father God. Strengthen them, Lord, because as they take care of the senior, they also have to take care of their homes, Father God. So bless, Lord, as only you can. Lord, those seniors who are unable to walk, Father God, strengthen them, Lord, in their bodies, Father God. You know all about them, Lord. We lay it at your feet tonight, Father God, trusting and believing, Lord, that you're going to do exactly what you said that you would do, that you would heal, Father God, that you would comfort, Lord, that you would deliver, Lord, that you are a refuge in time of need, Father God, that you are very present help in the time of trouble. Lord, we just ask and pray that you would bless our seniors as only you can, that you would touch them, Lord, strengthen them and keep them as only you can. In Jesus' name I pray and love you, Lord. Amen and thank God.
Thank you, Lord. Father, I've been charged tonight to pray for the body and the ministry, Father. But before I do that, Father, I just want to give you praise, honor, and glory, Father. Because you are a, you are worthy to be praised, Father. You are our night and our day. You are our sunshine. You are our strength. You are our redeemer. Oh, Father, you are our everything. And Father, we want to give you praise, honor, and glory. Father, because you are able to do everything and all things. Father, we love and we need you right now and we can't do without you. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for this moment. Father, we want to thank you for our body, this body, and all bodies that's open in your name, Father. Oh, Father, we ask that you bless from the head to the foot. Bless our pastor, Father. Bless our deacon board, Father. Bless our deaconess board, Father, our ushers, Father. Bless our children. Bless our elders, Father. Oh, bless our, and bless each and every one. Oh, Father, we need you, and we can't do without you. Father, continue to look over us and guide us in the way you would have us to go, Father. Oh, we, we thank you, Father. We know. We know who you are. And you know your children, Father. Oh, we ask that you continue to bless our ministry as only you can. Continue to give us the strength to go on, Father, in your name. Oh, Father, continue to bless our, our ministry, our Sunday school. Continue to bless our Bible study. Oh, Father, continue to bless our services. Father, you, you've shown us that there's a way that we can continue to go out and spread your word. And you've given us the tools to be able to do that, Father. And we want to thank you for it, Father. We want to praise you for it, Father, because you are worthy to be praised. And we need you right now. In the midst of the things that are going on, Father, we need you right now. Oh, Father, strengthen my body. Oh, Father, continue to bless as only you can. Oh, Father, we... We all have our issues. Oh, Father, but we bless our souls, Father. We thank you. We need you, and we can't do without you. And we'll be so careful to give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory, Father. Oh, Father, if I had 10 billion tongues, it wouldn't be enough. It just wouldn't be enough, Father. But I thank you. I thank you for what you do. I thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you for looking over my family. I thank you for looking over my congregation, our congregation, Father. I thank you for our ministry. Oh, Father, understand that without you, there is no us. We love and we need you, Father. Continue to have mercy on us. Father, bless those who are behind prison walls, sick and shut in. Oh, there's so many, Father. But you are able. You are willing, Father. And Father, we just ask that you continue to give us the strength that we need to spread your word. We thank you, Father. In the mighty, holy, and immaculate name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. and one and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men always men ought always to pray and not faint father we come to you right now father so many things go on our mind about the assignment which we were called to do as we pondered and we communed with you we asked you to give us what to say on behalf of your pastors on behalf of your ministers 
on behalf of the pastor's wives, the minister's wives, your men called, your preachers here, there, and everywhere. God, the last part of the scripture says, and not faint. Through these time, trying times, Father, the weight has become heavy. But Father, when we think of the weight of your cross, when we think of the nails that were in your hands, when we think of the thorns that were pushed in your head, when we think of the spear that was in your side, Father, when we think of what you went through, we're reminded of the scripture that says, endure hardness as a good soldier. Father, we thank you, Father, for the call that you placed upon our lives, Father. We thank you, Father, for every snare, every trap, everything that comes against us, Father, things seen and things unseen. But God, our hope and our trust is in you. We know that you have us, Father. We know that it is your strength that we stand in. Father, we pray for those preachers that feel like they can't go a step further. God, we pray, God, right now, we invoke you. We ask you even now to come into this place. But God, that preacher that's in the room lonely right now, that minister that feels like he can't take it no more, that wife that seems like she, she just is not being heard or even understood, Father, as he, the man of God, you called him, ministers to her. You, Father, equip her to minister to him, Father. Oh, God, we bless you. Father, we don't take light the opportunity to come before you and pray. We don't take light to stand before your people and declare your word, Father. But remind us, Father, it is you who equips us. It is you who strengthens us. It is you who encourages us. It is you who has anointed us. And it is you who have called us and approved us, Father. So, Father, humbly... I stand in the gap for every man that's called by you. I stand in the gap for every woman that stands by that man. I stand in the gap, Father, interceding for them when they stand flat-footed, rightly dividing your word and proclaiming the truth, Father. And Father, after all of that, that you give them a word that convicts, a word that heals, a word that delivers, a word that sets free, a word that encourages, a word that strengthens, and a word that, a word that lets them stand on your authority. And Father, we'll be careful. We'll be careful. Oh God, as we go into a new year, we'll be careful. Oh God, to magnify you and to praise you and to worship you and to tell men and women boys and girls everywhere that jesus saves and so father we thank you and we magnify your name and we ask this in jesus name amen and amen
because you held me in your arms. I worship and when I feel like giving up, you kick me out of the fiery place. And you took me in your arms and let me know that I can go on a little further. That I can go on a little while longer. And if I hold on to you, I'll change the hand. But you take away when I seem to be in no way. I love you, Jesus. Ourselves. Father, you just didn't keep us through 2020. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you've kept us all the days of our lives. Every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. You have kept us. Kept us from then to now, kept us through a raging pandemic, and we declare, Father, it was not us, but you that brought us through. We realize, Father, that even at this time, we are closing out this year, and the pandemic is still raging, and, and there's going to be more of the same in the new year. The same God that kept us in this year is going to be the same God who kept, will keep us in the new year. Have your way now, Father. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Forgive us of our sins. Speak to me and speak through me that I might bring a word that will prick someone's heart that if they don't know you, they would come crying, what must I do to be saved? Those of us who do, will not just be hearers but doers of your word have your way now in jesus name we pray amen from um, the book of romans the 15th chapter and the 13th verse according to my watch we got about what 10 minutes if i go a little over y'all won't be mad with you Romans 15, verse 13, we find these words. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. 
May the Lord bless the reading, the hearing, and doing of his word. You may be seated in the sanctuary. We thank God for those who are watching on live stream. Our theme is, we are powered by God. We are powered by God. I, 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 it's important for me to say that because if you are a Christian, it's very important that you remember who is your power source. I know, I know that some folk think that this pandemic is having its way and that this pandemic is running things, but I declare to you that God is still in control. We got to remember who our power source is. Let me go back and just um, do a brief just surmise of this past year. Um, 2020 was an extremely challenging work, uh, uh, year. Uh, every one of us know that. This was not one of those years where we could say it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. 2020 was every bit as bad as we thought it was and more. We suffered through the worst pandemic of our lifetime we have never experienced anything like this in our entire life. We were completely taken out of our comfort zone. We couldn't even sit comfort comfortably in a restaurant and eat a meal without the threat of COVID-19 floating out of someone's mouth and landing on us. Our lives were literally shut down where we couldn't even go places we normally would go couldn't go to the store, couldn't go to the gym, couldn't go to the movies, couldn't go to the beach, couldn't go to work, couldn't even go to church, couldn't hang out with our family and friends like we used to. And here we are at the end of this year and things are really no better than they were when the pandemic shut us down 10 months ago back in March. These last 10 months have been an emotional roller coaster. Throw in the unpredictable economic crisis. Throw in the unstable political climate. Throw in all the protests due to the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery. Throw in the normal daily struggles that go along with just living. And this has made for an extremely difficult year, a di extremely difficult 10 months. And I have yet to meet too many people that has much good to say about these last 10 months. People are stressed out. People are depressed. People are confused. We have never, ever experienced so much sickness and death in such a small, confined block of time. In 10 months span, from March to December, there has been, in the United States alone, 19,690,704 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Along with that, there has been 345,501 confirmed deaths without, within a 10-month span solely due to COVID-19. Anyone that tries to argue that these, this COVID-related deaths are no more than the flu-related deaths in previous years, you are out of your mind. Yeah. 2018 and 2019, the total number of deaths related to all causes of death averaged 2.8 deaths, 2.8 million deaths. Yeah. In 2020 alone, deaths by all causes is, is expected to close out, out at 3.2 million deaths. That's about 400,000 deaths more than 2018 and 2019. This is about the number of deaths due solely to the coronavirus pandemic. These are some very depressing statistics. Some of these deaths were connected to many of us personally. Some of our, our loved ones and friends died due to COVID-19. This situation has been every bit as bad as we think it is and more. It's been a rough year. This has been a challenging year for many people. This has been a year of shortages. This year, in so many ways, we have come short, short of hand wash, shortages of toilet paper, shortages of food, of hospital beds, of doctors and nurses. Listen, listen. By the same token, sometimes these shortages have been a, a, a result of our joy. Shortages of our peace, shortages of faith. Yeah. But there is some things that weren't cut short. Oh, yeah. There has been a lot of shortages, but there has not been any shortage of God's mercy yeah. and God's grace. Yeah. 
Let me talk to somebody. There has not been any shortage of God's goodness. There has not been any shortage of God's love and forgiveness. And then there has not been any shortage of God's power. And the problem is that many of us have not tapped into God's power when we call ourselves children of the Most High God. Question is, have you stayed connected to your power source? I declare to you tonight that it has been God's power that has carried us through 2020, and that same power will carry us into 2021. Text says in Romans 15, 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. How many know that God is the object of our hope? Let me say it again. How many know that God is the object of our hope? God gives us hope through his grace and through his mercy. Through God's grace and mercy, we have access to everlasting life. Jesus is the bridge to this everlasting life. Jesus is the door to this everlasting life. He is the believer's hope. How many believe on the name of Jesus? If you believe on that name, you ought to know that everything is going to be all right. He is our hope by the redemption through his blood. And if we believe in this hope, hope, we also have access to the joy and peace of God. Songwriter said, this joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. And so we ought not be walking around on this night with a sad sack mentality because God has been keeping us not through just through 2021. He's been keeping us all our lives. Don't you know it was God that brought you from there to here? He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Joy and peace are listed as part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Also included in that fruit is love and long-suffering, goodness and faith. These qualities are not natural qualities. And so if you're trying to get by in the natural, you are going to have a problem. These are qualities that are not natural. You need Holy Ghost power to activate these qualities. And if you are a child of God, how many know you got the Holy Ghost living in you? See, even when you're tired on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a New Year's Eve night, even if you're tired, you ought to have enough Holy Ghost power to wake you up and give you power to sing and power to praise. And it don't matter how long the day has been, God gives us power to stand and having done all to stand. This is the power that brought us through all the challenges of 2020. Paul says when we rely on God's power, we abound in hope. And what that means is we overflow in hope. To abound in hope means to have an overabundance of hope. That means you ought to never run out of hope. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about playing the lottery and you might win. I'm talking about trusting God who is the hope of our salvation. And you ought to never run out of hope. Should no pandemic shut no Christian down? And even if the pandemic kill us, to be absent from the body is to be present. That's hope. To bound in hope means to have an overabundance of hope. This hope is not fake hope. This is a faith hope. This hope gives us high hopes. Song says, high hopes. No, no, we're not talking about that kind of high hope where you're just wishing and wanting and hoping. This is the high hope that comes from that which is above who sits high and looks low. Am I talking to anybody here? Man, man, can I testify? Can I testify? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie more about God. It's been some kind of week. Did a funeral last week and did a funeral this week, I'm here tonight and got to do a wedding tomorrow and got to get ready to preach on Sunday, but I'm relying on the source of my power because in my natural, I want to go in a corner somewhere and sit down and lay down, but in the Holy Ghost, I can preach like I'm preaching right now, giving God, <laughs> giving God praise at 12 o'clock at night. 
some people have high hopes, but low standards. But our high hopes comes from a high place. Psalms 113 verse 5 says, Who is like unto the Lord our God who dwells on high? Despite how tough 2020 was, God powered us through it. Despite the pandemic, God powered us and is powering us through it. Despite the political climate, I don't care who in the White House, God is powering us through it. Despite bereavement, despite sickness, despite struggles, God is still powering us through it. And you ought to give God praise even in your home on live stream at 12 at night. You ought to give God praise. What time is it? What time is it? Give God praise because it's 12 o'clock. Happy New Year. Brought us through 2020 and brought us into a brand new year. He's worthy <laughs> to be praised. Sometimes, sometimes you feel like, we feel like, we can't go on. But I remember what the songwriter said. I don't feel no ways tired. Not because it ain't in me in the natural, but because the Holy Ghost is dwelling in me, I don't feel no way tired. I can run on a little farther. I can jump a little higher. I can shout and praise him all through the night. Get me up in the morning and I can start all over as long as I'm moving in the power of God. For every child of God, for every child of God, I want to reiterate this fact. 2020 was a tumultuous year. 2020 was a rough year. A lot of bereavement. A lot of sickness. Folk losing jobs, folk losing careers, folk losing homes. But all that has been lost, one thing that's true, you're still here because God brought you through. You're still here because God kept you through. And the same God that kept us in 2020, how many know he'll keep us in 2021? So we thank God. We thank God. We are powered by God. We're weak and frail. We're sometimey. We're wishy-washy. We're up one day and down the next. Sometimes we in, sometimes we out. Sometimes we like you, sometimes we don't. But how many know that because the Lord is on our side, that we can trust in the Lord and we can still love like we ought to love. We can still walk like we ought to walk. We can still stand like we ought to stand in the power of God. Thank God for Jesus. And then we want to present this invitation. To be anyone here or on live stream that don't know the Lord in the part of your sin, we want to give you the opportunity that you might accept Christ. And it's as easy as the ABCs. Admit you are a sinner. Believe that Jesus is the only remedy for sin. And confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And if you do so, you shall have everlasting life. Can we give God a hand of praise? Can we give God some late night, early morning praise? Can we give him some late night, early morning thank you? To those who are on live stream, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The best way you can start out a new year, if you don't know the Lord, is to accept Jesus. That's the best way you can start out a new year. That's the best way to close out an old year, is to accept Jesus. So we present Jesus to you. We're going to ask the voices. Do you have a song, Walter? Yes, sir.
the word you spoke I believe Oh I believe in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we come to say thank you. Thank you for this brand new day. It's early, and yet it's late. You've given us a new day. You've given us a new year. You've given us a new beginning. You've given us a new opportunity. And we just want to say thank you. You are the God of newness. The word declares that if any man be in Christ, we are a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So we thank you. Thank you for your darling son, Jesus, our Savior. Thank you for saving us through him and to him. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who seals us until the day of redemption. Thank you for reminding us who our power source is. We realize, Father, that it has been a challenging year. It does not make sense for us to act like things weren't like they were, to act like it wasn't what it was. It was exactly what it was. It was a challenging year. It was a rough year. It was a tumultuous year. But, Father, you allowed it. You allowed it for our testing. You allowed it for our growing. You allowed it that someone who don't know you would come to you. You allowed it. And then, Father, you not only allowed it, you have control over it. You are in control. You are the God who sits high and looks low. You are the God who can do anything but fail. It is in you we live, move, and have our being. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for the good times and the rough times, the up times and the down times. Because in everything we give thanks. For you have been good to us. Have mercy on us. Forgive us for all of our sins. Everything we have said and done. Every thought that's not like you. Cast our sin into the sea and remember our sin no more. And then, Father, touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Fill us with spirit power that we would march on to serve you in these last and evil days. You allowed us into the new year, but we don't know how much time we have, Father. You can cut us off even today. But Father, as, I, as we march on to, into this new year, give us strength to stand and having done all to stand. Help us to stand now, not only as a witness, Father, but let us walk it out like we talk it out. Have your way now. Those who have lost loved ones, Father, so much death, so much sickness. We pray for Ruthie Watts, the passing of her mother. We pray for the English family. Father, we pray for uh, the Bragg family. There are so many others. Uh, Deacon Willie Brown lost his, his, his son as well as a brother. Father, we pray for him. There's so many others who have lost loved ones during the course of this year. Have mercy, Father. Comfort their heart. Let them know that you are always a prayer away. 
And then, Father, we just pray that in the midst of everything that has transpired, that they would see you and not see their circumstance, that they would trust you and not trust in, uh, in, in the things of this world, that they would lean and depend on you. Have your way now, Father. Thank you. One more time, we give you praise for a new year and a new opportunity. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power henceforth and forevermore. And we all stand together at 12 at night. Amen. God bless you and God keep you. Happy New Year, y'all.